So today I got a very interesting topic. Listen up, everybody. This is something you're going to want to pay attention to. This is real. This has caused a lot of friction all around the world lately. And we're going to be talking about the dangers of gangs and social media. You know, we've already had one individual killed not that long ago, uh, Red Boy, the rapper from uh, out there in uh, down south, the Damu, who was killed live on Instagram. These type of scenarios happen. Social media is not a joke. People don't take it serious. And the effects of it is that having a social media is a powerful tool for some people. You could use it to hide behind it, create fake profiles, get information, post it about other people. These are the type of things that occur all the time. Um, also, you're putting yourself on front street. When you're out there doing videos, spray painting and tagging out neighborhoods, or going on live talking smack about people, you know, I'm over here, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're putting yourself out there, you know, in a negative light. I mean, I know that me doing YouTube, it puts myself out there, man, but I'm not out there in the streets doing nothing. You know, I'm all about trying to promote this positive uh, change for those that, that want to hear it and listen to these stories. But there's been numerous situations that I know of over the years based upon having a major impact by social media. You have people who create false profiles, start to get at people's ladies and stuff like that, start to get at dudes and so forth, screenshot the stuff, send it over there, do disrespectful stuff. And all it does is cause conflict. It could break up relationships. It could cause a war with, with varios. It can cause even more issues than that. You know, so the responsibility nowadays is not being upheld. You know, these people think it's a joke. You're playing with people's lives. You're playing with people's relationships. And you don't know what the repercussions could be just because of your actions. You got as far as people who will create certain pages, right? And try to obtain information, play games, get that information, and then try to expose people. You know? And that's a powerful tool, man. You know, people are always looking for leverage, you know, to use against other people. They'll get certain messages, boom, screenshot it, and send it to this person. There's no more honor or integrity. It's about how you can capitalize off another person's mistakes and use it against them. Now, it also has its value for some of these bigger groups to where they can communicate so much faster, especially within the prison walls. Instead of having to ride a wheelie, someone take it out in their butthole and take it to the streets and drop it to someone and wait for it to get where it needs to get. Now, all you got to do is this. All right. Wicker app. Here's our code for the month. Boom. Communications. It's that simple. They can't, they can't infiltrate it. They can't break the code. And security is all around performed. You know, um, but mainly, man, during my time here, right, you know, 80s, 90s, growing up as kids, even the 2000s, we were never out there, uh, you know what I'm saying, doing videos, showing our money, showing our dope, showing our guns. That would be considered a breach of security. You know, <clears throat> we were more taught to be incognito. The more incognito you operate, the more or less attention is, is put upon you. But nowadays, it's totally different. It's more about glamorizing who you are, getting that recognition, you know. The same things that I talk in these spills about why we join gangs for the recognition, the ego, and the respect is the same reason why people have these social media accounts, why they put themselves out there. They want that recognition. They want that respect. They want to be looked at in favorable eyes. You know, there's been more conflict that has stirred up on social media than anywhere else. I mean, you got people who will post and comment and start arguing over, over whatever the issue may be. And you don't know what that person may be about. They may be with a business and they may get a location on you. Next thing you know, you got a bullet in the back of your head. That's the reality, you know? So, so you know, like I said, man, you know, I, I can tell you about numerous situations where people cross people up or say, oh, this person gave me the information. It's such a useful tool that can be used in so many negative ways and have such long, everlasting effects, you know, that people don't take life seriously. You know what I'm saying? And you never know what you may cause. I've had relationships been severed based upon social media. I've, I've heard people have to get dealt with because of social media. These things really occur. So we have to put a responsibility upon ourselves to not fall into this new age of social media. See, people like attention sometimes. And before, we would never want to, as a man or as anything, we would never want to put our business out there. You put your business out there by your actions, not with your words. And see, that's what it comes down to. Your actions will unveil the mask behind your words. And what it means by that is you can say all this and all that, but are you really about that? 
you know, and you're also putting yourself on front street. There's been certain hoods who have been indicted based upon using real guns and videos. Merced, California, some Norteños got indicted out there for that. So, I mean, like I said, you know, social media is something that you really have to take seriously. You know, sometimes I'm starting to want to stray away from it, but I use it for communication purposes. But I've seen the everlasting effects. You know, it gets to the point that I don't even want to have conversations with anybody because I don't know if they're sitting there screenshotting everything that I'm doing or saying, you know, not that I'm doing anything bad in what I'm doing, but that's my personal communication with that person that stays there. It needs to stay there. You know, you know, I've had I've had other past situations I've seen where, uh, you know, random people nowadays, they'll, they'll just start getting at, at your ladies and stuff like that. And, you know, they'll be disrespectful you know, there's no uh, sense of code of, of of having morals when people have these accounts because they can hide behind it. And until they get exposed, there's nothing you can really do about it. You can create an account right now and you have issue with this person over here and you could tell this person all kinds of bad stuff about someone that you don't like. You could be in solid standings, right? Or even bad standings and know some negative information about this person. But because you're pissed off, you create a fake profile. You don't want it to come from you. You go tell that person everything about your whole rundown, what this person's doing. This is how jack moves happen on the streets. You know what I'm saying? This is how people get fucking, they get smacked back. That's the reality of it, man. And see, so there's, sometimes we talk about social media and its effects. It's not just the stuff that we know. You know, the rappers out there, you know what I mean? What's cracking up? You know, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's the stuff you don't know. And the people that are behind it, you know, I've gotten numerous messages from people and I, I, I disregard them. <clears throat> you know, I've had people just randomly send me from a fake account trying to get information, you know, <clears throat> and I just, I, what I do is I try to decipher what they're telling me and then I just, I break away from it because I already know they're trying to get <clears throat> any kind of information. I can't relinquish what they're, what they want. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing that you have to remember. Not everybody's going to come with good intentions. And especially if you have a platform, you have to be careful. Someone may tell you, hey, you know, I got this information about the, the AB over here. This is what's going on. Don't always buy that information, man. Sometimes it's better just to ignore it. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what kind of uncompromising situation you may be put in. You know what I mean? And then next thing you know, you got people questioning you. But you could have been the cause of this problem. You could have been the issue here. You know? And people can twist things up any way they want. They can take messages. They can twist things up. They can edit it. They can do all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> they can even make a fake profile of your page and start sending messages and make it look like it came from your page. <clears throat> That's how corrupt people are nowadays, man. You know, like I said, our era, <clears throat> our social media was what? We had, uh, what was it, Teen Angels Magazine? That was our social media. The grapevine just stayed within your community. You didn't know what was going on in Sakura. You didn't know what was going on in Fresno. You maybe know a little bit of the surrounding cities, but otherwise you stayed right here. <clears throat> now this opened up a, a whole bigger picture of things, and this is where you're seeing all this dumb stuff nowadays, man. And you got like 11-year-old kids on there acting like gang members and parents uh, uh, contributing to that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, look at that little, what was that little girl, uh, little Tay, whatever she was, the little fake one. How would you have your young daughter out there talking the way she was talking? Shame on you for even doing that, man. I wouldn't even have my son do that. You know, I may have them joke, joke around like, hey, what's cracking people? But all that stuff, come on now. And then I seen some other one was called, a, I'm a ba banjo kid, a banjo baby. A little like six-year-old kid rapping with money. I get money in the trap house. I'm like, what the hell's going on here, man? I mean, our parents that uh, eager to prosper or, or um, make financial means so they don't care about putting their kids out there. You know what I'm saying? It, it just makes no sense to me. You know, and I mean, there's been people killed just over social media posts. There's been people who've killed themselves over messages they get in social media. You know, so this is something that, man, I think we really have to analyze as far as parents too, though, man, because the kids are going to be affected with peer pressure. What goes on in schools and so forth, you have no control what they're exposed to. But you as a parent can teach that kid right from wrong in their actions. So then you don't have all this bullshit drama going on. And you can lead them the right way, the right direction, not the bad way. Because the end result is going to be the same, you know, and I blame it on a lot of these rappers, you know, the ones that use these platforms to try to boast their, uh, their popularity, you know, and, and show things that are not positive. You know, you got to show the people the right way. 
you know, because people do like drama, they do like that stuff, it sells. But the same token, man, have a good message in there. Have something positive. Use your platform to do something right. Because if not, you're contributing to all the negative things that are going on in society. And the thing with social media, it's only going to get worse. You know, and like I said, there's so much examples I can get of how people have been corrupt, twisted, and just things don't go right. But it is what it is, man. So you, as an individual, need to realize that this is something that's serious. You know, playing games with people's lives. Um, exposing certain things that maybe don't need to be exposed out there. You know, you're speaking about someone else's life that has a family, that has kids, that has all kinds of things. And it's a cowardice act sometimes if you want to get honest. You know what I'm saying? Like me personally, I'd rather you come up and put a bullet in the back of my head than try to fucking talk respect to me on, on social media. I'll respect you then. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather you come up and put, punch me in my nose than run gossip on any type of profile or channels. And see, this is what people don't realize, man. Like, you know, we all have like family members. We all have kids. We all have this and that. And yeah, we put ourselves in that position to be out there for people who want to attack. But some people do it maliciously, you know, with intent because this is what gets them off, you know. And, and I'm a firm believer. If you feel the need to do that, then you should put yourself out there who you are. But they don't. There's a lot of cowardice acts, you know. I'm out there on social media. I have my mask down. I've told what I did. I'm not ashamed of it. It is what it is. Can I change it? No. I have to accept my circumstances. But it's not, it doesn't mean I'm going to be afraid to do what I do on this. And I'm going to make sure that I use this platform to do the right thing. So social media, like I said, it has a whole lot of, there's a lot more inner workings to it. There's a lot more deeper things that occur that nobody knows that people do. But you really think about it, man. Anyways, this is your boy Flacco. Real quick spill. I'm out.